I don't know about you, but I can be really good at beating up on myself, particularly when I make a mistake, like I did earlier this week, driving my car into a garage door, or just failing to live up to the person that I aspire to be, being as kind or as organized or as disciplined or just as big as the kind of person that I really want to be. And you know, I know that when it comes to forgiving other people for the things that they do wrong, when they wrong us in some way, when they fail to act as we'd like them to act, it can be really hard to forgive people, to let go a grudge. But as I was beating up on myself earlier this week for backing into my garage door, it really hit me how futile it was. I can't change it. And how my being tough on myself and unforgiving on myself can sometimes drive me to sometimes being pretty tough on others as well. And you know, when it comes to forgiveness, to that act of just letting go the the weight that anger can have on us and that chain, it's like a ball and chain that can just keep us dragging something from the past into the future. You know, it's much easier to forgive others when we can also forgive ourselves So in my blog post this week, I wrote about just the importance of being kinder to yourself, being more compassionate to yourself, and in doing so, how that can free you up to also be kinder and more compassionate to others. So where could you be a little bit kinder to yourself? And what what mistakes have you made that you need to forgive yourself for? Because in the space that opens up can allow you to have a much greater sense of joy in your life, but also to forge so much more rewarding relationships with the people around you. See you soon.